This story to me sounds tragic. It's depressing. It's overwhelming. A shootout took place in Las Vegas yesterday morning when a man and a teenage accomplice tried to rob a group of people playing Pokemon Go. AP reports that the pair in a large SUV drove to Gary Reese Freedom Park, which has become a popular Pokemon Go hotspot to catch Pokemon. They approached a group of six people playing the game, threatened them at gunpoint, and demanded their possessions. One of the Pokemon Go players, however, had a concealed weapons permit, pulled out his gun, and a shootout took place. Both the adult suspect and one of the Pokemon Go players were shot in the exchange, with both being hospitalized. Both injuries are described as being non-life-threatening. The driver and his accomplice are now facing charges. So things I want to say that the adult suspect, um, in case you don't know where he got shot, um, he was shot in the back and and the Pokemon Go player that got shot, it happened in the stomach. And and both of these guys survived miraculously. I mean, especially the Pokemon Go player. I mean, getting shot in the stomach and surviving is like to me that sounds like a miracle because most of the time you know if a bullet hits a major organ in your body it usually results in death so they approached a group of six people playing the game for them to make gunpoint and demanded their possessions so armed robbery is what this is being described as um, and um, and not not only they did that, but also they they shot one of the players um, and causing an injury, not death, because you know the player survived. So we got people innocently playing a game and and people getting like getting injured over something like that. I mean. What, what kind of people are these criminals? I mean, to me, it sounds, it sounds like they're sociopaths. <laughs> it's like they try to injure people over something trivial, like a game. I mean, like, why? Well, why, why are they trying to do this? I mean, the, these guys are such idiots, man. I, I hope they do, like, four decades in federal prison or something really draconian. Um, it, it's like human beings can't have nice things. And let's see, is there anything else I had to say? The driver and his accomplice are now facing police charges. So um, the last time I tried doing this story, you know, when I said that, you know, one of the Pokemon Go players um, who who was like trying to defend himself and, and still got like you know police charges along with a suspect um, I actually reread the article and that wasn't the case um, it, it was the criminal and the assistant criminal that got charged because I, I looked up the definition for accomplice um, I Google searched it and and what it returned to me was that the accomplice is the one that's assisting the criminal so so the assistant criminal and the criminal both got charged. Um, and like I've said before, hopefully they'll spend like four decades in federal prison. So that way other people, because, and I mean, if it were just armed robbery alone, you know, they would get like a quarter century or something. But because they robbed the dudes at gunpoint and injured one of them with a gun, that that's like an injury along with robbery so that that's why I said the, these guys are gonna get like four decades in prison and it doesn't matter if you know one of these guys are teenagers I mean if they're teenagers doing this I, I think they need to be tried as adults I mean I understand teenagers make mistakes but let me tell you man uh, th this is like one of the exceptions 
Um, I, I'm sure Review Tech USA has um, done similar stories where um, there are three guys trying to rob people who are using Pokemon Go. They took advantage of the app and, and robbed the dudes at gunpoint um, and they ended up getting arrested. And, and what he says is that he, he wants these dudes to spend like a quarter century in prison. Well, I mean, in this story, though, something similar, except not only robbing people at gunpoint, but injuring them over the game. So that's like, that's like 15 additional years to the quarter century sentence. So it would be a total of like 40 years. I mean, if one of the players actually got shot, and not only shot, but also ended up being dead, if that were the case, then the people who... Um, who tried robbing would have gotten like a life sentence. I mean, think about this way. I mean, when it comes to crimes involving putting people's lives in danger, I mean, generally they result in a long time in federal prison. It wouldn't be just like five years or something. It'd usually be like a decade or two decades or even life or even a death sentence. I mean, you, usually it's a draconian punishment. Um... So, um, my advice to you, if anything, is if you're using Pokemon Go, which, um, because it's an augmented reality app, and it's a video game that's connected to real world, real world consequences can happen. So, you have to be able to pay attention to your surroundings, because stuff like this can happen. So, um... If you have any thoughts about this, be sure you leave them in the comments section below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I mean, be sure you give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of my activity, um, be sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, if you're if you're one of the subscribers, I mean, well, my suggestion is you know be sure you're you're watching my videos <laughs> because I mean I've already said this in my in some of my other videos that. It's like Facebook. I mean, what's what's the point of having 1,000 friends on Facebook if most of them don't even interact with you? Answers, there's no point. Well, with YouTube and subscribers, it's the same concept. So, anyways, um, I sincerely hope that all of you have a good night. Peace out.